My first impressions of Thomas was in high school. I just remember her on the bus and I was never at school and I just remember seeing her. That's it. She looked nice and that was all I thought. He just had this big old smile that like literally went across this whole entire face. Later on in the years when I actually met her, she was just cool. We met when we were 21 at a bar, typical Merced, but I just so happened to be rolling weed that night and for some reason I got out the car and I dropped all the weed on the floor. I remember we went inside and Thomas was there and she kept telling me, do you remember him? And I said, oh yeah, the guy with the smile and all his friends had the bomb ass weed. It was never like, oh, I would date this girl. Oh, I wanna hook up with, it was nothing ever more than like, wow, this person is so awesome. Hanging out with him almost like two to three times a week, I kind of just like, not just grew this attraction because I was always attracted to him. He just became my best friend. You don't realize that you really like somebody until you're like, I don't think I've talked to them today. I don't think about anybody like that ever. And if you know me personally, Rosie's my first girlfriend of all time because I wanted to wait guy or girl. This is the coolest person I've met. But my, my ultimate answer forever, what's my favorite thing to do with Rosie? Sit right next to her. Honestly, just being around him. It could be anything. It doesn't matter what we're doing. Anything that I'm with him and we're doing something, that's my favorite thing to do with him. The moment I knew Thomas was my person was right after our first date. And I just remember we were leaving the concert and everything was fine and then it started raining. And we had to walk home. I didn't have a jacket, none of us had jackets. And I just remember he like grabbed my hand and we literally ran home in the rain. And it, it felt like a movie and we had our first kiss and everything that night. And I remember I came over to his house and I was wearing this red beanie that I always wear. She had this red, like, knitted beanie on. And I remember I was walking up to his house and he was already walking out the door to greet me. And then he hugged me and I gave him a kiss on the cheek and it was just the way he hugged me in that moment and he didn't let go. And when I went to let go, he was still holding on to me. And it made me feel like I was the only person in the world at that time. <laughs> um, he does that a lot to me. That was it. Nothing special like about the situation. I just remember her walking in and I was, I was like, that's, that's, I'm never gonna hang out with anybody again in my life. Well, I met Ro uh, Thomas and Rosie at the same time. They are my husband's friends, and they were just cool with me from the beginning. They don't need any advice. They're the ones that always give us advice. Oh, God. <laughs> I'll ask them for advice, because they don't, they're, their love is already like, it's already like written in a book, and they're just reading through it. So, they're, set and fine. I no advice to them. Love you guys. On Tony, on late. Even Ratchet, it wasn't late. Up guys, Dope is the only here. Hope you're having a dope best day. We're here. I'm about to spark it up a little bit. Taking dabs. This is the guys room. All the grooms and a couple friends. We're all here hanging out. So that's what's going on today. Rosie and I have been together for 12 years. That's my best friend. Today is the day we get married. I'm super stoked. We're gonna get smoked out. We're gonna get ready. Get dressed up. Let's get smoked. Dude, Jesus Christ, is that Michael Jordan? Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. Looks cool. We're all here for Thomas and Rosie. I appreciate everyone coming over here. And uh, let's make sure Thomas and Rosie have a flawless, flawless day, huh? Cheers, 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 you guys.
start getting ready, OG. I smoke two joints in the afternoon. It makes me feel all right. I met uh, Thomas to our mutual friend. He was like, yo, I'll be best friends together. Trust me. After that, we just started texting each other. I started coming over his house and Rosie was there all the time. So she's like, yeah, it's my girl. It's my, my one and only. Ah! Since day one, I already knew they were going to be together forever. I met Thomas and Rosie through Instagram, first of all. I wrote Thomas a DM when I found out that he wanted to start a podcast and we just connected off that. I was in New York at the time. As soon as I got back, the day, maybe the day after I got back to New York, I went up to their apartment and I sat in the back room with Thomas and we just talked about where we were both at. And that's when I met Rosie for the first time at the apartment. She was just hanging out and I felt like we were all just already friends for a long time, basically. And it's just been on ever since. Rosie is like hanging out with one of the boys, you know what I'm saying? Rosie is Madal. That's Madal. I love her forever. Love you, Rosie and Thomas. I'm gonna say OG's passing out first tonight because he's been on a sobriety stint for the past two weeks or so, so I feel like his tolerance might not be quite up to what it normally is. I'm gonna say OG. OG, but I ain't gonna lie to you. I already started with OG, so we're kind of in the same, so I don't know. I'll sign myself up, maybe. Definitely OG. It's gonna be fucking John, my little fucking meathead son. A little hard hair with that dude. Hey man, Thomas and Rosie, I want to say about what, 2012, 2013? Keep pushing, you know what I mean? Keep, keep doing what you're doing, because there's no limit, you know what I mean? Tonight, I want to keep it on. I'm going to try to keep it a easy A, maybe heavy A. Say hi, I'm Johnny. Hi, I'm Johnny. All right, cool, you look cool. I met Rosie through my boyfriend, Omar. Her, she, her and Thomas are good friends with him, or have been for a while, so I met them through him. Uh, I met her when she came to my house in Santa Cruz with Thomas and brought her best friend Monica with her, who happened to be my roommate's cousin. So, small world, I guess. Uh, yeah, uh, should I say it on camera? <laughs> uh, drag brunches, I'm gonna just say that. Drag brunches, or anytime you go out. Yeah, anytime you go out. <laughs> like, from drunkness, or it's like, what do you mean? Um, probably Rosie. She's exhausted. She's tired from everything. <laughs> Everyone's gonna be giving her shots. Oh, Rosie for sure. Thomas is probably gonna stay awake until he can't stay awake. Rosie's been up for a while, and this juice is pretty strong. Probably Rachel, because she's a lightweight. So she's probably, yeah, she's a lightweight. I don't know if that's what you meant by that, but yeah. <laughs> Who's gonna pass out first tonight? Yeah. Probably me. <laughs> Maybe. Every day in the morning when you leave the house, whether you're mad or not, always give each other a hug and a kiss goodbye. Cause you just never know. Laugh about everything you can, no matter how serious it seems. Thomas is actually my second cousin. And I met Rosie while hanging out with him and Merced when they first met. Who's gonna pass out first tonight? Hey, what's up, everybody? Dope is Joel here. Hope you're having a dope-ass day. Welcome back to the channel. <coughs> we're in the bathroom of my hotel, and in about two and a half hours, we're going to get married. Not us, but, like, me and Rosie. Hey, yo! Hey, yo! Oh, everything okay in here? <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, Dimitri. Dimitri, I'm so fucking sorry. I think you got the camera, too, with that. I'm so fucking sorry. That was so rude. Oh, my God. Hey, remember when you just sparked a joint and said nothing to anyone? 
Bro, he is the That's worst. That's crazy. He is the Ratchet is not the even a pre roll. Donut. He's like, yo, 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 can I get these joints? Yo, can I get all the okay. Let everybody know. Oh, Thomas is here? It was, I don't even know the year, 2008 or nine or 10 or, we were both doing cannabis businesses. We both lived in the Central Valley. Pretty sure I messaged him and I was like, I'll be at this next cannabis cup. Rosie and Thomas came to my hotel room and we filmed like dab videos at the cannabis cup. The one piece of advice I would give Thomas and Rosie is to keep doing what they're doing because something is right. I'd say most of us look up to their relationship for like a very good example of what love is. So whatever they got going, keep doing it. Oh, not very high. Scale of one through 10, like four. Okay. <laughs> William driving, cause oh, yeah. Oh, oh, thank God. All straight down. What's up, guys? Make sure you save him, Omar. The way he proposed to me is one of my favorite stories as well too because I had no idea. I thought we were just gonna film a vlog going back home to Merced because we were going home that weekend. I didn't tell anybody and I can't believe the old switcher, look over there, worked. It was so silly. <laughs> we're standing literally right next to each other and he goes, oh, look over there. And when I look over there and I look back. Just hit the knee, I couldn't believe it worked. And I just lost it of course i did but i had no idea what was going on getting that on camera was a super awesome thing to have to the podcast they said what's it like to have your life documented since i was a kid i've always wanted to do movies and acting and if we never do we have our own movie and it's our life a lot of people make content but not a lot of people get to capture moments that they care about What's up guys, Dope Pajoli here. Hope you're having a dope ass day. Today, I'm getting married. It's my 
my wedding day. Just to smoke it up, take a couple more dabs, head to the venue. Thanks for being here. Thanks for smoking along, hanging out with me and Rosie and supporting. Have a dope ass day. Hey, yeah, hit this. You ready? You ready? What's up, Barty? What up? What up? Hit that. Hit that. Hit that. Hit that. What up? So, Fucking sick. Sick. That's dope. Okay. I'm recording. Straight POV. Yeah. It's all the bounty hunter, but he's got like a microscope on Yeah, we got the one with the fucking. Sup, 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 sup. No, this is sick. Nah, nah, You struggled. You were not there anymore. I struggled. I was there. 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 <laughs> Check it out. Oh, geez, nice. all. Oh, look at nice gold. He's nice. He loves it. Nice. Thank you, Dan. Got the ceremony starting. Oh, nice. Okay, it's not as. I thought it was gonna be like this. No, it's fine. You're Thank welcome. you. Hell yeah. Thanks, Dan. Welcome. Hell yeah. Damn, you look like a mob boss. Like you just called a hit. You look like you just fucking got a murder. You murdered somebody right now. <laughs> yeah. Let me see. Put it next to mine. Oh, let's see. Let me see. Put him next to mine. Boom. Cool. Look. <laughs> um, when do we get the photographers here? Oh, yeah, ask Kaylee. The area looks fucking awesome. Tone, want to buy some insurance? <laughs> he's like a fuck. He's like Robin Williams in Hook before he went to Neverland. He's dressed like an accountant. I don't know about that. Oh, it's Rick. It wasn't a matter of when I'm ready or when she's ready. It was a matter of when can I afford to do this? It was during the pandemic and people were struggling and stuff and I finally made like 10K. And the first thing I did was uh, go buy a ring from Tiffany's and I called John and he goes, why did you go to Tiffany's? What are you doing? And I went, okay, I'm gonna go return it. <laughs> and I returned the ring and then John uh, brought me to Peter Marco. The only reason I picked that time is because I finally could afford it. The second I had any money, that's the first thing I did. So, yeah, that was it. I told my Uncle John first, actually before he passed away. I told my Uncle John, because um, he was supposed to be gonna be my best man, but uh, obviously, and yeah, that was it.
I just want to be around her. I don't know what it is. Always having fun. What is, ha like, what is happening? I don't think about anybody. I don't care about anybody. I'm just trying to make money and go to school. And now this person's always on my mind. And that's when I realized like, okay, this is what liking somebody really is. Like, I want to be around you all the time. And she watched Jersey Shore all the time. And now I love Jersey Shore. <laughs> so, um, yeah, just Rosie being who she is is my favorite thing. She's the, the only person I've ever met that's genuinely her and genuinely just good. There's been so many times when Thomas has proven to me that like over and over again that he is my person and that we're supposed to be here together. Like this was meant to be like he is my person no matter what. Like he was the person I was supposed to meet for the rest of my life. Good evening everybody. Welcome family and friends. This is not the beginning of a new relationship, but an acknowledgement of the next chapter in their lives together. Thomas and Rosie's love is itself inspiring. It's built on an unwavering faith in each other and understanding that no matter the obstacle, they will overcome it together, side by side, no matter the outcome. It's built on communication. Often unspoken, they seem to know what the other is thinking and what the next move will be seamlessly, effortlessly, like an invisible ebb and flow of thought. It's built on their passion for life. Every moment, a celebration of their love and its achievements, almost inseparable by nature, it seems. All of those attributes are what make their love inspiring to us all. The most perfect union of two perfect souls. Friends, lovers, and teammates. And in life, that is what's most important, having a teammate who you can count on. Because as everybody knows, life can come at you hard, fast, and without warning. Do you, Thomas, take Rosie to be your lawfully wedded wife? To have and to hold in sickness and health, in good times and not so good times, for richer or poorer, keeping yourself unto her for as long as you both shall live. She does. Do you, Rosie, take Thomas to be your lawfully wedded husband? To have and to hold in sickness and health, in good times and in not so good times, for richer or poorer, keeping yourself unto him for as long as you both shall live. You do. Rosie, I give you this ring as a symbol of my love, with the pledge to love you today, tomorrow, always, and forever. Thomas, I give you this ring as a symbol of my love with this pledge. I give you this ring as a symbol of my love with this pledge. To love you today, tomorrow, always, and forever. Before these witnesses, your family and friends, you have pledged to be joined in marriage. You now have sealed this pledge with your wedding rings. Now, without further ado, by the authority vested me by the great state of California, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Good sir, you may kiss your bride. Ladies and gentlemen, may I present to you Mr. Thomas and Rosie Arujo. overwhelmed with joy. Even though like planning a wedding is stressful, there's things that go wrong, ups and downs and everything. People are gonna have disagreements, people are gonna argue with you. 
But at the end of the day, it's just about me and Thomas. And when I think about it, like once everything's said and done and me and him are sitting next to each other, looking at everybody who's there to support us, that's really all that matters to me. Going forward and being married to him is going to be like the next best chapter of my life. OG's in the bathroom. Are you kidding me? Right? Yeah. She's in the bathroom, dude. Nikita, get OG. Hi, Mia Mia. A few more pictures. OG, take your glasses off. Take your glasses off. off. All right, let's Thank go. Thank you. Nothing but the best, all the best. It's Nikita's dope. the best, the dope is the best, Tom is the best, Rose is the best, everyone's the best. Uh, so Thomas, I've known about 20 years from high school. Rosie, I've known Rosie since maybe she was a sophomore. Uh, she's best friends with my wife, Monica. Monica's my high school sweetheart. Rosie lived with us for a little bit. She's actually my son's godmother. So who's gonna pass out first? I'm gonna say Rosie. Sorry, Rosie, but yeah, no, it's definitely Rosie. Right. Thomas is a champ. Thomas is my son, and Rosie is now my daughter-in-law. I met Rosie 13 years ago when he brought her over. I'm happy that they're married and I hope it lasts forever. Uh, I think Thomas reminded me how I met him. It was at one of our uh, secret hash lounges and he came by and saw me and we just said, what's up? From there, we just knew we were weed smokers so we became friends. Who's gonna pass out first tonight? Uh, I, maybe Rachatone, dude. I think Omar will, cause he's used to, he's notorious for sleeping. One piece of advice I would give Thomas and Rosie Stay happy, stay happy. Hey Thomas, Rosie's always right. A piece of advice I would give to Rosie and Thomas. Thomas, Rosie's always right. One piece of advice that I've always heard to have a, a relationship last forever is you never go to sleep angry. But they're incredible, they always talk things out. I've never seen them in, in any type of argument. So as long as they keep the love flowing, They'll be, they'll be there forever. When I met Thomas, but I know it was about seven or eight years ago, more than likely at a cannabis event. Who's going to pass out first tonight? Uh, <laughs> first person to pass out. I That's think the he one. meant between Rosie oh, and Thomas. Oh, between Rosie and Thomas? I think, I think Thomas, Thomas <laughs> passes out first, for sure. <laughs> Rosie, she's, she's not about to go to sleep early. Shoot. Rosie. Oh, uh, I don't know. Yeah, I'm agree. Yeah, I agree. So Thomas is my cousin. 
I met that guy when we were living in Portland. Uh, Rosie, I met her when he started bringing her around the family. One piece of advice I'd give them, stay doing them. They're doing a really good job right now. You know, they're doing really well for themselves and we're proud of them and just keep doing them. Thomas and I have known each other for years through the industry. And um, we became close early, like before any of us were actually blowing up. Over the years, as it started to blow up, some of us from original just kept super close knit. Thomas is a real one. He's not gonna bullshit you. We cut from the same cloth. It's been an honor to watch him and Rosie grow as a couple, not only business-wise, but spiritually and as a relationship. And uh, I'm just happy to be here. I was just asking Goblin and them this a while ago. We definitely met through the internet first. You know what I mean? Like friends through the internet, which is always, that's like my favorite thing, is like meeting someone online. The fact that I'm at his wedding, like the biggest day of his life so far, means a lot, Thomas. You're the fucking man, I appreciate you. I met him, what, five years ago maybe? It's all at 2020, but I feel like it was earlier. Four years, maybe going on five. Just seeing two people come together like that, it was awesome. I damn near shed a tear at the, when I was watching it all. I'm not gonna lie, like. Awesome. I love the wedding. <laughs> yes. And these are my two favorite guys. <laughs> and I'm uh, Thomas's aunt. <laughs> and Rosie's always been our niece, but now it's legal. <laughs> and I'm very happy for them. Nothing but joy for the rest of their life. gonna bring in Thomas and Rosie and then they're gonna do their first dance right here that's gonna be in a couple minutes thank you guys I can be in the worst mood ever and he literally walks into the room and he does something silly or he looks at me crazy or he wants to get me out of the house to do something it's just no matter what he always brings that type of light into my life my life has just been so much happier since he's been in it so just to make sure they know you're ready let's make a little noise for them before we bring them out just make a little noise
Check, 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 check. What's up, guys? Congratulations, guys. Appreciate everybody being here tonight. This is beautiful. I'm having such a great time. Thank you, guys. Now, I moved to California in 2013, just trying to make something happen in life, completely isolating me and my family from all of our friends and family back home in New York. Thomas and Rosie have not only become my wife and I's best friends, business partners, but they're like family to my kids and are always the first people to be there for you when things go wrong and not judge you when you make mistakes. Thomas and Rosie, you two are the epitome of a power couple. Best friends that came together, mapped out their dreams, and went and made it happen. And you looked out for your friends and family along the way. Thank you very much, Marty. Please next put your hands together for our matron of honor, Samantha. Let's give her a huge round of applause as she makes her way on up to the microphone. I wasn't prepared. They say wedding, the definition of wedding is two metals combined by flame. And I think you both are two metals, two gold medals. Okay, sorry, sorry. If you know, you know. The most important part of a speech is the opening line. I can never put into words how grateful I am to have crossed paths and still be in each other's lives all these years. 2024! <laughs> and they push and push and push toward the common goal. Their love and passion for that same common goal has always been each other. And I wanna leave with a little verse, Mark 10, 9. Therefore, what God has joined together, no man can separate. Amen! Congratulations, Rosie and Thomas! Thank you. Well, thank you, Thomas and Rosie, for inviting me. <laughs> I'm really happy for Thomas. I'm happy for Rosie. Uh, on Facebook a couple of weeks ago, and she put on there and really got, really got to me. She goes, I'm so excited. I'm going to be Mrs. A in a couple weeks. And I thought about that. I said, Mrs. A, that's Mrs. Sorrell. I, just, I haven't heard someone's, someone proud that she's gonna be, you know, in the raw hole. And I, I just, I, I felt really touched. I said, she, she, she loves my son. You know, just like Thomas loves her mom. And we all love Thomas. But Thomas's groomsmen, they're all different, they're all there, but they got one thing in common. And I think we all know that. And I think that's what brings them all together. You know? So, congratulations, Thomas and Rosie. Thanks, Thank you. I just want to thank you all for coming. She's always been a go-getter, always, from day one. That's who she is, and I'm glad she met Thomas, and they were able to build this wonderful business, and they were able to, and they still are, working towards it. But it's amazing. It's something I could never think of, imagine, in my lifetime. They have done, and I'm so proud of them. I'm so very proud. I just want to do the party so Rosie and I can go back to our lives. That's what we keep saying. Like, I can't wait to hang out with everybody and then go back to work. Because <laughs> we have a lot of stuff coming. We drop in Zoomies two weeks to the day. Literally two weeks to the hour after we get married is when we drop at Zoomies. 
two weeks later. We have a lot of monumental life things coming. We never thought like, this would be my best friend, this would be my wife. We get married two weeks later, we drop in the biggest store in America. Like we are doing so much stuff right now and Rosie and I just are in work mode. We're in constant work mode because that's what we gotta be in. And it's fun work mode right now. So I'm not nervous. I'm just hyped to hang out with everybody and see everybody. That's the main thing, is to see everybody, everybody have fun. My grandma, that's my main thing. My grandma Grace coming out and seeing the spot. That's what we're always just trying to do stuff for my grandma. So I'm just excited. Look at these guys. Look at these guys. Look at these fucking guys. Hey, what's up YouTube, Dope is Joel here. Hope you're having a dope ass day. Um, this is uh, my wedding. We're here. My Aso and Phil, the Cannabis Brothers, just pulled up and gave me a QP tie stick and then a literal wicker basket full of weed. Um, I love this place. Shout out to Carter, he came through with the dad. Shout out to CBX, Jay CBX over there. Shout out to Jay, they brought hella hash. Brought hella hash, shout out to Hash House, they brought hella hash. Thank you guys so much for being here. Uh, we can't do open flames, but if you can see, there's a dab bar with eight oils going. So we're getting high as shit over here, guys. Everybody's having fun. We're getting shit faced. Have a dope ass day. Let's go hang out. See you soon.
What's up guys, Dobazola here. Thank you so much for being here. Rosie's waiting for me. The night is over. Thank you so much for being here. Um, I know I keep saying that, but I'm a, I'm a little inebriated. This is my wedding night. Thank you so much. I don't know what happened. We're just all drunk. We're all high. John, John's walking in the background, chilling, but he is carrying everything. So that's fun. We're gonna go back to the hotel. We got a couple bottles. We have multiple grams of dabs from CBX and Hash House. Multiple. Let's go. Thank you so much for being here, guys. Thank oh, you. Perfect. Thank you. I know I said it many times, but Rosie and I just want to say thank you. You guys support us for everything. This is a very uh, monumental moment in our lives. So thank you so much for being here. My whole family was here. Everybody had fun. Rosie's mom and dad are shit faced. My dad was sober and chilling. My mom was hella happy. So everything was great. Thank you guys so much for being here. This has been uh, the wedding vlog. So thank you so much. As always, this is Dope Jola. Until next time, have a dope ass day. Tell me when you get out. She ruined OG snap. You need to get the fuck up. So that fool's not getting out. Look at that fool. Hi, right. I'm Pitbull. Nice to meet you.
Perfect. 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 Perfect.